15 on 135. Great job. So what I would do here, if I get a problem like this, I will find a derivative using differentiation rules on my test paper, on the side, negative 10x minus 2. So I know what to expect from the very beginning. Then the next step, I would, I'm going to copy it here. Negative 5x squared minus 2x plus 7. The next step, I will find the difference quotient. And I know the difference quotient is f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Perfect. So when I plug in x plus h in here and in here, I will have negative 5 x plus h squared. And I know I get two, three terms. 2x h plus h squared. Now x plus h in here, negative 2x, negative 2h, and plus 7. And this is done. Now when I distribute negative 1 to these three terms, I get positive 5x squared, positive 2x, and minus 7. I know that all terms that do not have h must go away. If they don't, I have an error somewhere. So at least I see these two going away and these two going away. Now I distribute negative 5. Negative 5x squared, negative 10xh minus 5h squared. Then I copy negative 2h and positive 5x squared, everything divided by h. And these two also, as expected, go away. And the top has to have h in common, even negative if you want. Why? because I know that these have to go away. So this will be negative, of course, positive 10x, positive 5h, and positive 2. And now, to find f prime with the definition, I have limit as h approaches 0 from this. Let me write it here one more time. Negative 10x plus 5h plus 2 from this. When h approaches 0, this approaches 0. So the answer is as expected, what I got five minutes ago. This is what I would do. On my test paper, you are allowed to do all this, to do this from the beginning, to know what to, ex to expect, and this should take you another minute, two minutes, to get the answer. That's it. Now part D here, um, it's asking you to also plug in some numbers. And that's fine. You can plug uh, in anything that you want. F prime of, uh, they say, uh, negative 2. No problem. Negative 2 times negative 10, 20 minus 2 is 18. And so on and so forth. Very good pick. Thank you. That's what I wanted from you. That's exactly the type of problem I wanted to see. Good, so let's look at some limits and derivatives of different functions. Quotient rule, product rule, chain rule. What if for this function I'm also asked, uh, let's say, find the equation of the tangent line at x equals 0? How do I do that? How do I do that? How do I find the equation of the tangent line 
to the graph of this function at a point where x is 0. Any suggestions? Anyone would like to say anything? Anyone?